Hello there. Thank you for visiting iFilm Recap. Today I'm going to explain a movie, Immortals. The Oracle Phaedra dreams in the beginning of the film that King Hyperion has released the imprisoned Titans with the Epirus bow. The Titans were imprisoned beneath Mount Tartarus by the Twelve Olympians, who lost the powerful Epirus bow. King Hyperion looks for the bow that will free the Titans. Hyperion and his army approach Sibylline Monastery and he spit the holy water and burns the priest. Hyperion trying to kidnap the virgin oracle Phaedra and use her dreams and visions to find her. He'd heard that a guy named Theseus was going to kill him. Theseus, a demigod, awakened by the warning sound of their village. All villagers prepare to evacuate Hyperion's army, including Theseus, a warrior trained by the old man, who says the gods have chosen Theseus. Because his mother, Aethra, was raped by Zeus and Theseus was born, they are outcasts, who are forced to remain behind by Lysander and his Athenian warriors. Theseus fights them until Lysander is discharged by General Helios for his actions. Lysander departs, offering his services in the location of the village to Hyperion, who accepts and maims Lysander as a traitor. The troops of Hyperion invade Theseus' village, killing Aethra and capturing Theseus. Zeus is the old man. He orders his other gods not to engage in mortal affairs in their position as gods. Unless and until the Titans are unleashed, they must depend on mankind's free will to destroy Hyperion. The thief Stavros has manacled Theseus. Phaedra, who is being kept hostage nearby, gets a vision of Theseus standing by Hyperion. When Phaedra and her sisters are abused by Hyperion's guards, they kill them, provoking a riot. She takes advantage of the chaos to flee with Theseus, Stavros, and other slaves. When they try to take a boat, they are overwhelmed by Hyperion's soldiers. Unseen by Zeus, Poseidon leaps from Olympus into the sea, causing a tidal wave that drowns Hyperion's warriors. Following that, Phaedra has a vision of Theseus standing near a shrouded body. She says that Theseus returns home to bury his mother, Aethra. Following this, Theseus discovers the Epirus bow in a nearby rock. He frees it with a hammer, but he is attacked by Hyperion's henchman, the beast, who wears minotaur armor. Before falling from poisoned scratches given by the beast, Theseus kills the henchman and uses the bow to murder his allies' captors. Phaedra cares for Theseus and eventually falls in love with him. She asks him to take her virginity, eliminating the visions she deems a curse, and they have sex. The group returns to Phaedra's temple. Hyperion and his army are on their way to Mount Tartarus. They find Hyperion was torturing Phaedra's sister oracles in order to get them to tell Phaedra's location, but they refused. Stavros and Theseus are lured into an ambush at the temple. Hyperion's hyena seizes the bow, Ares intervenes immediately to save Theseus, killing the Hyperion's army in the process. Athena then gives them horses to go to Mount Tartarus. Zeus appears unexpectedly and kills Ares for disobeying his law. However, he spares Athena's life because she did not physically interfere like Ares did. Before ascending with Athena, Zeus tells Theseus that he and his allies will no longer get God help since he must justify Zeus's faith in him alone. Hyperion now has the Epirus bow. Theseus, Stavros, and Phaedra ride their horses to Mount Tartarus. Theseus warns King Cassander of Hyperion's plans to destroy the kingdom's children, make their descendants his own, and free the Titans, but Cassander dismisses the gods as myth, intending to negotiate peace. Hyperion confronts Theseus and offers to join him, but Theseus declines and proceeds to the entrance, cutting the gate chain to close it. The following day, 
Hyperion used the bow to breach the city's immense wall, killing General Helios and the wall's defenders. Theseus rallies the Hellenic army and leads it against Hyperion's men, killing Lysander in the process. Hyperion comes through, kills Cassander, and uses the Epirus bow to blast open the mountain and unleash the Titans before Stavros and Theseus can stop him. The mortals are stunned by the blast, and Hyperion drops the bow. Stavros takes it, but is slain by the Titans. Zeus and the gods descend to battle the Titans, urging Theseus to fight Hyperion. With Ares' warhammer, Zeus destroys the Epirus bow. The gods show to be stronger than the Titans, but they are defeated one by one, and all are killed except Zeus and Poseidon, who are severely injured. Theseus kills Hyperion, and Athena dies, begging with Zeus not to abandon men. Zeus destroys Mount Tartarus and ascends to Olympus, carrying Athena's remains and the fatally wounded Theseus. Hyperion's troops are killed by the crumbling mountain. The story of Theseus became legend. After being impregnated by Theseus, Phaedra gave birth to his son Acamas. The old man tells Acamas that he will fight against evil. Acamas touches Hyperion's statue and he sees the sky filled with Olympians, Titans, and Theseus engaged in battle. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more movie recaps.